Have you ever wanted to do something? But then you had this nagging little thought like, oh, you aren't good enough to do it. Who the heck do you think you are? Well, hey, today I am going to help change that for you. Hey, this is Mark Nelson, and I don't know if you, but I've battled the imposter syndrome for a long time. And all the imposter syndrome is just what I was talking about. There's this little dude on your shoulder, right? There's a good one. Oh, no, there's a bad one or a good one. And actually, there's a poem about, about the two wolves, I believe, or the, something like that. But anyway, here's what happens. You got this grand idea. You're going to change your life. You're going to help people. You're going to get out of debt. You're going to become financially independent. And then you wake up the next day or even five minutes later and you go, what? You can't do that. Who the heck are you? You aren't smart enough to do that. You're too old. You're too ugly. Now be careful with that ugly part, especially looking at me. <laughs> but all these negative thoughts come in. And then on this side, right, there's that, there's that good dude. Go on, wait a second. Mark, you are good enough. You're smart enough. It doesn't matter what your age is. You have tons of value to help people with. But that takes a long time to get out. I don't know if that's ever happened to you. See, my wife right now is going to walk, is planning on walking the Appalachian Trail. And we talk about her mental mindset all the time. Because there's people that are telling her that, hey, you're too old to walk the Appalachian Trail. I mean, that's 2,000 miles. I means I think she's nuts, but she has people telling her, including family, that she's not going to do it. So we work on our mindset, because I know she's going to do it. I just know she's going to do it. But to tell you the truth, I have to work on mindset, my mindset too. See, I'm a retired teacher, retiring teacher. Isn't that cool? Long time. But I don't want to sit around and do, any, do nothing. I want to be able to contribute. So I actually fell into this digital marketing world. Really did. Fell into the digital marketing world. I didn't know anything about it. But I found some mentors that really started to help me. Not only in how to build an info product, but how to change my mindset. And I want to share with you a trigger that I learned. This is by a good friend of mine, Steve Kribda. And look him up because he's a great coach. Great coach. But I started working with Steve on my mind. I, to tell you the truth, I was going to work with him on help building my business. And the first thing we did was work on my mindset. And man, he dug into stuff that I didn't even know it was down there. See, a lot of this comes from our youth. Could be from family members, teachers. You know, I'm a teacher and I, and I know I have a lot of power there. But they could say some things that just aren't encouraging and they sit there forever. So Steve had me do something. He wanted to develop an anchor for me. He had me lay down on my bed, close my eyes, and think about those negative thoughts, where they were coming from. And then we change course. And I want you to do this. He said, I want you to think back of one time in your life you were crazy successful. And you know, it took a little bit, but then I found the time that it felt so good that I knew it was the top of the world, that I was raising my arms up, cheering myself on because it was a victory for me. And he says, here's now what I want you to do. I want you to stand up. And I stood up, put my feet shoulder width apart. He says, take your thumb in your forefinger, and I chose my pointer finger, and he says, I want you to think that thought and raise your arms up. When you squeeze tight, I want you to think that thought and raise your arm up and just feel how good that feels. And I did that, and I raised it up. See what he's doing? He created an anchor for me. Because that felt so good. So I, till, I still battle it. I still battle it. I still battle. Imposter syndrome. Everybody does. I mean, we're human, right? The world's crazy right now. People are telling us we're no good. 
the world tells us we're no good. You know, I'm a teacher, so everybody's down educators. <laughs> it's really pretty funny. Um, so what I do, there's times I have to get quiet. And I'm going to rephrase that because I don't have to get quiet. Because I just did this in school the other day. I was having a bad day. Things weren't going right. Man, I wanted to leave. I don't want to walk out. I didn't want to talk to a kid again. And I'm good with kids. But I was struggling. So I'm walking down the hallway. I actually left my room. I had another teacher in the room. I left my room, walked down the hallway. Nobody in the hallway. And I took a couple deep breaths and I squeezed my trigger. And I raised my hands up. If anybody came out, I think they thought I'd know. I raised my hands up. Yes, I am it. I'm a superstar. Because that's what I felt. And I came back in the room and the kids looked at me like, it was a new Mr. Nelson. Mr. Nelson, what is going on? I did it. So I challenge you, right? Imposter syndrome is real. It really is. You don't believe in yourself. I don't believe in myself. The world doesn't believe in itself. People keep telling us the wrong things. But if you notice the people who are successful, they read books, they stay around positive people. They don't stay around people that are telling them that they, what they're doing is wrong. They're staying by people who tell them what they're doing is right. So I challenge you, if you can't change the people you're hanging with is you need to create an anchor, get quiet, lay down on the couch or a bed and think of the time that you were the most successful, how good it felt. It could have been when you were five. Just think of that thought, get a smile on your face. Think how good that felt. Then stand up, put your feet shoulder width apart. Get that thought in your mind that where you're so successful. Then squeeze those two fingers together and bring that thought back up where you're so successful and do it again and do it again. So every time you do that, that anchor comes to fruitation. It'll change your life. It'll change your life. It really will. Hey, I hope you got a ton out of that today. I have a special program going on right now that I created just for people who want to change their lives, right? I share four tips on how you become an online marketer, a digital marketer. So if you go to marknelsononline.com forward slash register, marknelsononline.com forward slash register, what you're going to see, you're going to go to a page. Watch a short video of me and I'm going to share with you four points that I'm gonna go over in a free training. It's just there. So, one more time, marknelsononline.com forward slash register. Man, if you got any value from this, please share it. Subscribe. But best of all, beat that imposter signal. See you in my training.